WFNN. Headline News Update. At 2 p.m. on this new year, we're down about uh, well, 0.67% on the S&P NASDAQ's off uh, nine and a half. Well, what are we going to call it? Just under a percent. Dow's uh, off about four uh, tenths of a percent. Russell down three quarters. Uh, crude, uh, interestingly enough, down three uh, percent. A little more than that. Gold up one percent. Uh, we're probably got a few news events going on today. One of those is going to be who's the new Speaker of the House. Um, I think the the uh, gentleman that they thought was going to be the Speaker of the House uh, lost his vote. So now it looks like they'll go to other folks. And that may be one of the bigger uh, moves um this year on inflation and gold prices is that may mean that uh, there's even a, uh, a less desire to spend more money going forward. Generally, when you get a new Speaker of the House, you don't flip uh, flip uh, new ones um, as long as you hold that house. So this could be something that uh, not so much right and wrong but certainly something that affects the markets, especially those uh, very sensitive to interest rates going forward. Of course, this is the first day of the year. We've had a lot of people uh, shorting this morning. It's been very high. Uh, Tesla's off about 13%. Uh, we've seen some huge numbers in the last few days of last week. They, of course, uh, didn't quite make their numbers for a uh, – 100% increase in sales in one year. I think it was 80%, if that's what I read correctly. So we've got that, and everybody's kind of looking at that. And uh, Apple's off about 5 bucks, which is about 4% today. What we don't have is a lot of volume. And my guess is we're going to probably start seeing that volume. Uh, and probably it'll start ramping up in about two days. But uh, we're at least past the worst part of the selling with uh, anybody thinking about tax selling pretty much over the last day of the year. Hang on for the show. It'll be up in just a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand.